Okay, so I've got my sleeve here that I want to um, turn into a flutter sleeve. So I'm just gonna power duplicate that two finger press down and drag. And now we come over here and I'm going to cut it with the knife. So I'm gonna turn it to do a color so that we can see in our layers panel because it's just easier to see that way. Let's turn it to something that shows up a bit more. So if we go with our knife and then start drawing outside, press your finger down and draw straight across. Pressing your finger down makes it a straight line. Otherwise, when you cut, you get a wobbly line. And see how I've got that, but I didn't go all the way through. That's because I haven't gone through and through. So if I go all the way through, it'll slice it. But if I only go partially way through, it won't slice it. So make sure that you go all the way through. So I'm just gonna turn off the bottom sleeve component of it. Now, when I'm at this stage, I wanna duplicate this. And the reason that I wanna duplicate this is so that it's easier to manipulate later. So I'm just changing the color of it so that you can see the underlayer and how much we change it. Okay. Now come back to your knife, um, but first we'll just we'll just measure what this sleeve head length is so that we can make sure. So take your nodes tool, break it at the top and break it at the other end. We're gonna unfill this so that um, we can just select this one and come to your measure tool down here and select the one that says area and that gives you 501.8, um, which is the length that we wanna come back to in the end. So I'm just gonna undo that locking so that it's all together. Um, and now we're gonna grab our knife and I'm just gonna slice through at random intervals where I want to manipulate it. Okay, and if we come over into our layers, you can see that all of that green has been sliced up. So now we just grab our arrow and we get to manipulate away. So I want my sleeve head to be the same, but I want the a big amount of flutter in the sleeve. So Okay, so this is gonna be the shape of our new sleeve, is the green. So we'll take the purple now and we'll put it over to nodes tool. And I'm just gonna delete that extra point and that extra point. And then I am just going to manipulate these nodes into place. Take that one over there, we'll add another one in here. We'll smooth it out. There we go, take that up there and bring this here. <coughs> Pardon me. And so this is our new sleeve pattern. And now all we need to do is check that this where it's gonna join into our sleeve head is in fact the 501 PT. So with our nodes, we just come here and we go break, come back to this other side and break it again. We undo our fill so that it only measures that, not the entire area. I'm just going to take these and group them and then hide them and take that one and just measure that area so it's 502 so I'm one nearly two PT off which is pretty much negligible so that's pretty much spot on what you want to do and that'll give you a fluttery sleeve thanks for watching bye